In this installment of the standard What's in Your Box training series, we're going to talk more about the evaporative emission system, how it works, offer a few tech tips, and explain how standard designs, manufactures, and tests evap components so that you can recommend them with confidence. The evaporative emissions or the EVAP system has now been on vehicles since the 1970s. And although modern systems are slightly more complex and certainly more efficient, the purpose of the EVAP system is still to prevent harmful hydrocarbons or the fuel vapor from entering the atmosphere. Now, essentially, the fuel vapor is filtered and then stored in the fuel vapor canister. And then when the engine load and the temperature is right, the canister purge valve will release the fuel vapor where it can be burned during the combustion process. Now, because this is a complex system being monitored by the vehicle's computer, it's critical that every component in the system is designed and tested to correctly integrate with the vehicle's EVAP system. This is where standard comes in. Our EVAP components undergo extensive lab testing for performance and durability. We also test new applications on actual vehicles at our vehicle testing center in Texas. Now, we're an expert manufacturer, and many of our EVAP components are made right here in America at our factories in Independence, Kansas and Greenville, South Carolina. And we offer the most complete line of EVAP components in the aftermarket with more than 1,200 different components, including fuel vapor canisters, canister vent valves and solenoids, canister purge valve and solenoids, hoses, and more. And while we don't deviate from the design function of the EVAP component, there are several instances where the original design has a weak point, which leads to a premature failure. Now, in these cases, we do update the design of the part to address the OE weak point for a more durable EVAP component. For example, the canister purge solenoid in the GM 3.6 liter V6 is known for high failure rates. And this is because the plunger inside the solenoid cracks, causing a system leak. Now, our engineers updated the design of the plunger, allowing it to run true, reducing wear on the internal plunger for a much longer lasting solenoid. And keep in mind, it's also a good idea to remind your customers that DTCs should always be cleared and then onboard monitors run after replacing any component in the EVAP system. This is the best way to make sure the system is operating correctly. This is the standard EVAP program. Research and development, precision manufacturing, detailed testing and validation, engineering improvements for durability, and complete coverage across all EVAP categories, including sales support. That's what's in our box. What's in yours?